Hey, what's up everyone? Cody Bontecue here. In this video, I'm gonna just quickly show you how to count every item here. So these are all like YouTube video ideas that I've kind of been generating recently. And I got a lot of them, but I'm not exactly sure how much. And I kind of want to have a quick and easy way to just have see the count and see, see how many I've done. And as you can see, these are just little checks. So we're gonna write something called DataViewJS to solve this which is the go to scripting plugin. And um, once you have this installed within your community plugins, you're going to go up with the triple backslash data view JS, just for the nice, I, I think this is actually required to get it working. So anyways, the first thing we're going to do is this DV dot current. So DV is data views kind of, I don't know what you'd call that, but it stands for data view and dot current just gets the current file and all of the data that it provides. Uh, once we're, we have the current file, I just want to create an item state and this I'm going to have total items and checked count. So within this current object, there's actually dot file and then here dot lists and dot length. So dot lists, actually is able to conveniently hit every, all of these, which it took me a while to figure that one out. But sorry, anyway, so now that we have this list, it's pretty simple. We can go through each item, check if it's checked. If it is, we're going to go within our item state object and do checked count plus plus. And then we can create a little paragraph. And so this is how we're gonna see it rendered. So here you can see we're adding a little bit of markdown to make it bold. Video is recorded. And we're gonna just say checked count because that's how many we've done, for example. And then we're gonna go divided by total items just to see like how many we've done. And that'll show zero out of 64. <laughs> Cause I haven't done any yet. But now if I go down and let's say obsidian, counting list items in obsidian and data view JS, I'll click that, scroll back to the top, and boom, now it's one out of 64. And let's just go ahead and try something else. Let's just create a, a second item and now 65. So I know the JavaScript itself is actually pretty simple, but it took me a while to find where to do this. It's not the most convenient development environment within Obsidian, but if you go to this site, so this is metadata on pages, it's like, I think Obsidian Data Views documentation. I was able to find this metadata on pages and that's where I was able to find, where is it, uh, dot list, file dot list. And it actually gives you the data type as well. And so once I was able to console.log that, I was able to kind of realize where the data is being held. I was kind of hoping it would just be like a long string I could parse, but it uh, turns out this is actually a little bit easier. So, hope you learned something today. See you in the next one.